Aaron, you're up. Teens for vaccines. You uh, represent the our 12 to 15 year old group, which has the I think the lowest vaccination rate, as Dr. Fauci was talking about earlier. So can you talk about teens for vaccines, how you're getting young people involved and why it's so important to have your age group vaccinated? Yeah, so first off, thank you, Mr. Emhoff and Dr. Fauci for this opportunity. I am really excited to be here. So hi, my name is Aaron. I am nearly 14 years old. I live in California and I am the founder of Teens for Vaccines, a youth collective. Right now, we are working with teens around the country, all fighting for one thing, to crush COVID, but we can't end COVID if teens aren't part of the conversation. So my Teens for Vaccines thanks the second gentleman and Dr. Fauci for creating this moment so we can talk directly to teens, parents, and school board members who are watching, we are seeing firsthand and what action is needed. First off, I want to give a big shout out to all Teens for Vaccines ambassadors in California, Tennessee, Illinois, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Missouri, Maryland, North Carolina, and more. We are in the trenches reaching out to teens in every possible way. Young teens like me need to get vaccinated so we can protect ourselves, our little brothers and sisters, our grandparents, and those who are immunocompromised and living in fear. The Delta variant has been raging across our country. Our heart goes up to Kaya Morris, a healthy 13 year old from Arkansas who caught COVID and is fighting for her life on a ventilator. And there are many more like her. Personal stories are extremely powerful motivators. So vaccinated teens, please go out there, talk to your friends, your family, and your neighbors about them getting the COVID-19 vaccine. And right now we all want to crush COVID, but information is not reaching all teens. Also teens aren't part of the conversation. Instead, they're on TikTok exposed to videos about how they'll be turned into zombies if they get the vaccine, or they're on Reddit searching for answers. We can do better, and if I may be frank, we must do better. So at Teens for Vaccines, we are sharing trusted sources from the CDC, as well as immunization coalitions, organizing town halls so teens get their questions answered. We share personal stories, give advice to teens on how to convince their parents, and even clarify minor consent laws. The only way to increase teen vaccinations is to involve teens. In fact, we recently consulted with the state health department to engage student organizations in their own outreach efforts. In fact, Teens for Vaccines has actually partnered with a Generation Up, a 4,000 student member strong organization and protect us to mobilize students to lobby their school boards so students have access to vaccines as well as safe learning environments with masking being a top priority. We are even planning peer-to-peer -peer events, doing more community canvassing, especially in rural and underserved areas. Teens, if you are watching, talk to your parents, your doctor, your friends, cousins, and neighbors. Get your COVID-19 shots. And please don't forget about your other five routine vaccinations. Your Tdap, your HPV, your men ACWY, your MEMB, and your flu shot. Let's do everything in our power to crush COVID and get our lives back from this horrible, raging pandemic. Parents, if you're watching, please talk to your teen. They want to be heard and be part of the decision to get vaccinated. School board members, if you're watching, please promote the COVID-19 vaccine as well as routine vaccinations in your school. And Dr. Fauci and Mr. Emhoff, you are our heroes, but we need to know our government will protect our right to live by making vaccines easily available to teens, by making masking a top priority and protect our right to education Ultimately, we just need this country to see us teams. Thank you. Wow, Aaron, thank you so much for that. Very inspiring. Dr. Fauci, back to you. Thank you, thank you. Wow, this was so inspiring. I have to tell you, I, I took a bunch of notes. I'm going to use a lot of this information uh, as I always do, whenever I do these events, I always learn something and then take, we take it back to the administration and we turn it into um, better messaging. And I've learned a lot of how to do that. Um, and some of the things that, that you need to hear and your peers need to hear to get vaccinated. Um, I also wanna thank um, Made to Save, uh, who has been working so hard on this project as well. Uh, I've been worked with them. And um, just you are all an inspiration. I think our future 
is very safe in your hands. But I want to end with thanking Dr. Fauci, an American hero, a patriot, who has selflessly dedicated his entire life to public health and helping his fellow Americans and the rest of the world. So Dr. Fauci, on behalf of the country and the world, thank you so much for who you are and all you do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Enoff. It's always a pleasure and an honor to be with you on this very important discussion. And thank all of you guys. You're, you really are. I joined Mr. Enoff in saying you are our inspiration. And as far as I'm concerned, you guys are the heroes of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fauci. Thank you, Mr. Emhoff. Uh, what a discussion. Thank you, all our panelists. So happy you were here.